Hey everybody, here's part two of this uh, Emerson motor. Uh, 1800 RPM by the way. Notice here is the flat of the shaft. I'm going to try to keep the camera focused on the shaft as the motor starts so you'll see uh, when the rotor takes up the shaft. So without further ado, let me see, I'm going to try to keep the camera on here the whole time. Let's crank this bad boy up. You probably see a couple of sparks here in the front too from the centrifugal switch. Here it goes. <laughs> goes the shaft. See it? Now, when the thing's engaged, that shaft is locked rigidly on that rotor. You can feel it. You can feel the, uh, the counter vibrating with that monster rotor here spinning around. And again, you can see right through it while it's running. Here it is. I'm trying to get to the back of it here without putting my fingers in it and cutting them off with all the it's wide open, the end bells and the stair. There's the back, and again, you can see right through it. Uh, like I said, the rotor is huge. It's like a wagon wheel with spokes, so it's totally uh, open and hollow. <laughs> but uh, that is this bad boy running. And again, it's uh, 1800 RPM. Notice the, uh, the end plate here. There's plenty of it. I mean, this, this thing is so old, but it doesn't make any difference. The thing just runs like a champ. It will run for... I've run it for hours, and it doesn't even get warm. You just hear everything on the counter vibrating. <laughs> I mean, with that huge uh, rotor spinning around. So, this is part two. This is the machine running. Part three will start with the machine running, then we'll shut it off. You'll hear both the weights open up and the centrifugal switch play. Later, Gator.